Alright, good afternoon to you. Welcome back to Shaving with Fuzzy. I'm Fuzzy. How y'all? Hope everything's going good for you this afternoon. Due to an unfortunate set of circumstances, Fuzzy is working a night shift tonight. Now, it's not unfortunate I'm working night shifts. I like night shifts, but the reason that I'm having to work the night shift is unfortunate. But, uh, anyhow, it'll all work out, I promise. Alright, so the other day, uh, I was going to get a shave, my last shave in with the uh, Razorock Eco before it goes home and there was a technical difficulty and it didn't work out. So uh, today's shave is going to be that and I'm going to shave with it again and I'm going to whoop it off back home. So uh, it's got two shaves on this blade, this will be the third blade on the shave, <laughs> third shave on the blade, whatever. And uh, then we're going to send it home. So I haven't used the boots in a while, I like the boots so we're going to use the boots. I was told the bowl is, uh, I don't even know if they're making it anymore from what I was told. I have no idea. But uh, they were going to use the Boots Fresh Wood Aftershave uh, to kind of go along with it. For a brush, we're going to use our favorite Smog 1305. It's a favorite of mine. Hope it's a favorite of yours. Jill, I know, love, hate. Sorry about that. Not much I can do for you. You know. Little French Market revving things up this afternoon. I laid down and tried to get me a little nap. It didn't work so good. When I slept in this morning after working yesterday, I was tired. So I got to bed last night and I just slept through and uh, it was really nice. I really enjoy sleeping in. I'm definitely old enough to enjoy sleeping in. Of course, I enjoyed sleeping in when I was younger, so I don't guess it matters. So anyway, shake the brush out. It's been soaking a few minutes. I don't think it has to soak a really long time. Warm it up, get a little moisture in it. You know, it's good for a brush. I don't think you got to sit and let it soak 15 or 20 minutes. I don't know. Maybe you don't need to let it soak at all. I think it would work just fine. But uh, my personal feeling is that if you let it soak, then, uh, you know, maybe the tips don't get brittle and it doesn't break. And then again, I don't know. I mean, I don't particularly worry about hurting brushes with swirling and smashing and moving around. I don't think it really hurts them that much. But I don't know. You know? All right, let's get the old face wipe down here. I ran out earlier and ran some errands that I needed to do and paid a few bills that needed to be paid. Easier to keep your stuff turned on and, you know, I had to pay my truck insurance today so I could keep driving legally. Here in Louisiana, man, we pay for some vehicle insurance, I'm telling you. And since the, uh, the Ram has to have full coverage, it's, uh, it's no fun when the bill comes around. But it does every month, so there you go. What can you do? I want to keep being able to drive instead of walk, so I'll pay my insurance. Alrighty, then. So it looked like the rain moved out. It got a little cool. I guess it was down upper 30s this morning. It's supposed to be back down in the lower 50s, 40s, or something like that tonight pretty cool for this part of the world by the way wherever you're from it may be colder most of the time and oh 40 degrees is short and t-shirt weather for y'all when I was younger I probably could have still wore t-shirts but uh, <laughs> I get a little older fuzzy gets a little colder when I was a young man and duck hunted all the time it didn't get too cold my dad always made sure I was warm enough Sometimes I was walking around like an Eskimo. I didn't even know how I shot. I probably just pointed in the general direction and pulled the trigger. If you listen to my brother, he'll tell you that's all I ever did. Any duck I ever said I killed, he claimed he's the one that shot it. Of course, he says the same thing about me, but, you know. Who knows? I ain't been duck hunting in so long now. Not sure if I know what a duck looks like. That's a joke. I, I know what a duck looks like. All right, so we got the filler blade still in here that we've had from the start and uh, make sure everything's still nice and tight and lined up. I'm still curious as to why they built it to where the blade didn't go all the way out to the end. My assumption is to protect the ends of the blade. Training wheels. Is that training wheels? I don't know why they did that. It, uh, but I will say, I didn't notice where it really affected anything in the, in the shaves I've already done. It, uh, it seems to get close. You know, just as close right up here to the ear as anything. I mean, I can't knock the thing for performance, really. It's a razor. 
you have a sharp blade, nothing's damaged, it holds the blade straight, sometimes even if it's not as straight, but if it holds it tight, and sometimes even not as tight, you know, it'll shave. I don't have any problems finding a good angle with it. I've heard people talk about that it was difficult to find angles. I don't think so. That's all part of that magic stuff we call technique. And uh, really, I mean, it does a good job. This is a couple of days growth. It's not having any problems. Now, I don't know about making really long strokes with it, how it would do, because I shave with short strokes with just about everything. Uh, I've seen people who equated good technique with being able to make long strokes. And that's fine if that's what you... Uh, you know, that's what you, you're looking for, that's great. But uh, I always use short strokes for the most part. I bet you could probably go back through my videos and you would find where Shorty, where, uh, <laughs> Shorty, where Fuzzy wasn't using short strokes. I'm sure it could happen. What are you gonna do, impeach me? Jeez. All right, first pass. And we had a couple of days of growth. I don't know if you noticed that because I didn't particularly show it off, but really, this is one of those shades, you know, like most of them, I could do a touch up now. I could go just like I am now and nobody I get around would know that I'd only made a one pass shave, really. But we're gonna stick to our, our routine. Matter of fact, we're gonna add a little more water to the boots here. But, uh, uh, just the way I like to do it. If you like to do it different, all right. Running down across the green here. So tomorrow's going to be a good day. I'm going to give a shout out to my sister. Y'all know she pops up on here. She and her husband and my brother and his wife are going to be up around where I work. They're leaving on a cruise on Sunday out of New Orleans. So they're going to come through and they're going to stage tonight up here by where I work so that they're close and then they're just going to drive over to the terminal tomorrow morning or Sunday morning rather. So I get to go out tomorrow night and eat with them and see them. I'm taking Agent 00 Devin with me and uh, we're going to go out and I don't know what we're going to eat yet. My brother had named some places he saw and uh, there's some places over there I know is good. There's a big Cabello's over there in Gonzales. And uh, I like to go to Cabela's, better than Bass Pro Shop. And uh, so I've been over there for that. Plus I go into town and buy lunch every once in a while, that kind of stuff. So I know a few places over there. So we're gonna go out and eat. It ought to be a good time. And then I gotta be at work at midnight. I told the boss I couldn't, I couldn't really go in for the early part of the shift because I had family coming into town. And uh, so I'm going to split the shift and I'm going to work the last part of it. So I'll go in from midnight to six. Not a bad thing. I don't know why, but something feels kind of funky right under there. I don't know. I don't know what it feels like. But anyway, maybe a little witch hazel will help it. Not any problem. There's no, no nick, no cuts, no nothing. I don't know what that feeling is. Anyway. Let's get our witch hazel on for our touch-up pass here, the way we always do. Now, I use just plain old witch hazel. I know I've said it before, but like I told y'all before, we never know first person, you know, someone's watching these videos for the first time. And uh, so the witch hazel, the, the normal little cheap preparation has about 14% alcohol. So you might get a little sting every once in a while, but it's nice and slick. And like I said, I think I can feel the rough areas better. Here we go. So I got one little spot this time, just truth and advertising, that uh, feels a little irritated. That's right here. Might have got a little bit, a little bit too aggressive on the uh, trimming up the goatee a minute ago. I, I know I didn't have any. It was after I'd had soap on there, but the boots generally has enough residual slickness that it wouldn't be a problem. So I don't know. Anyway, feels like just a little irritation right under there. Not bad. I'm sure it'll go away with the little aftershave. Alrighty then, so well, that's what we got right there as far as the shave goes today. Nice and smooth. So, there's nothing wrong with the razor. I'll, I'll admit, 
the razor shades just fine. The only thing I got against it is it's, you know, I'm not real big on most of the newfangled stuff. Now, I can't say that about everything. But the fact that it's a single edge that uses a half of a double edge and it's kind of, you know, trying to reinvent the wheel. I don't know. Can't get behind it. I really wanted to. There was even another half double edge razor that I really wanted to get behind. It was a little plastic one out of India, I think it was. And, uh, you know, it had a, had a pivoting head, which I was going to overlook because it does look a lot like a cartridge, but I thought it'd be really neat as a, you know, as a travel razor or something. Somewhere if you left it, you're not losing but a couple of dollars. Boy, that smells good. Just in case you didn't know it, this uh, Boots Freshwood. But I can't get behind it. The more I think about it, newfangled stuff. Yeah, I just stick with the classics. But he's just a classic type. So there we go. The last shade with the uh, Razor Rock Eco. We'll get it back to Terry. Terry, thank you again for loaning it to me. I appreciate it. It does shave good, just like you said. The feather blade does great, just like you said. But it's just not going to win me over the newfangled thing. Sorry about that. It's good coffee, though. I can tell you that. All right, so that's it for today. I'm going to go uh, keep on getting ready for work and go see what tonight is going to hold. I'm not expecting it to hold a whole lot, but we'll see. You never know in this business what's going to pop. Now, you don't need to say that when you work at a chemical plant either. But anyway, you know what I mean. All right, you have a good day wherever you are, whoever or whatever you're doing. Happy shaves to you.